What if I told you the difference between this I could take over, boy, let me control ya And this I could take over, boy, let me control ya Is one single thing and it is this chart It took me many years to properly master my vocal processing technique But you know what I did? I took all that experience and poured it into this single chart And if you follow through it, you should nail that pro vocal sound Let me show you how but before we jump in, I'm coming to Berlin to play in Rittai Buske. I am super excited for this because Berlin is always fun. If you want to have a great night with me and dance your heart out, you can get your tickets on the description below. To make this video extremely relatable to you, I'm just gonna use a vocal that I found in Looperman. It is definitely not perfect, there are a lot of things has to be improved. The other thing that you can do, if you don't have acapellas, you can use also audio mid. You just sing yourself and then it turns your voice into more professional, more beautiful voice. I will use this one on the back vocals later on in the video, but for the lead vocals, let me show you how we can use it. Let me record an audio. Horrible take, but this is good. And then you pick a singer. Let's do like a very hundred person conversion. Let me record an audio. <laughs> This really works well, especially if you can sing or you don't like your vocals. They have tons of different versions over here, so you can just sing and then create your own lead a cappella. And we go back. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. Classic, right? These have some dining problems, other issues are going on. This is perfect. Then what we do, take a look at our graph and it says comp the lead vocal. Comping means if you have more takes, you can pick the best part. But in this case, we have single take. The only thing that I'm thinking here is the placements. Like if we turn this on. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. I like to keep the vocals a little bit off the grid because it makes it more human. That being said, I don't like this part. This is coming way too early. I could take over, boy, let me control. The easiest way to fix this one, you put the marker here. And here is the transient starts. And here I see the empty place, right? You can just do something like this. I could take over, boy, let me Make control ya. I wanna know ya. Let's see if anything else here. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. There are things a bit early or late, but I like it. If you don't like it, you can do like quantization all the way around. Although I don't suggest it. All right, let's go. The vocal restoration. It starts with in the background noise. In this case, I can take over. It is rather clean take. If you had something, I would suggest using an AI noise remover or if you have it, RX is extremely, extremely good with this one. Then it says remove the rumble and sizzle. Anything that we have in the vocal will get more and more amplified the more we go through the chain. The way I like it, fix all the problems and restore the vocal before we process anything, right? There's reason we're gonna get an EQ. I could take over. You see all the rumbles? Boy, let me control ya. They don't add anything to the vocal. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I She has a little bit breathe here. What we can do is use something like Pre-Q, duck it when those breathe in comes in, right? Oh yeah, right? These I guys. wanna know your deep. I'm just gonna do something like this. I could take over. Boy, let me control ya. And then comes remove the mouth noises and sibilances. Things like this. And the sibilances is these like very harsh, high pitched sound. I'm gonna fix the mouth sounds. Either you use something like Pro-Q and automate it. Boy, let me control. Boy, let me. Like there's a pop there. Just automate. Boy, let me. It is right here, right? Boy, so you do something boy, like this. Boy, 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 there's boy, one more here, actually. Boy, 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 the problem you see if I keep playing this one, we're always taking it. So what you do is like you pick them, turn on and off, right? And you see it's only here. Boy, let me control ya. Without? Boy, let me. Boy, let me can. Boy, let me can. Boy, let me can. Now you have to do this unfortunately whole vocals because you cannot keep these type of more aggressive AQs whole track. What I like to do nowadays, like I'm gonna delete them. You took something like spiff. Spiff is like transient shaper, but you can Boy, focus let me on control, specific yeah. area. Boy, let me control. Boy, let me control. Very clean, isn't it? You can still automate it though. Like Boy, if you feel. Boy, let me control. Yeah. Boy, let me control. Yeah. Because the transient shaper, it continues to cut even other transients. Just turn on there 
and then gonna boy let me control ya then we have the ds we can either use something like pro ds i could take over i could take over do you hear that i could take over yeah that is bad i could take over i could take over something like that an alternative we can use something like suit ds it's the same thing this one is also putting down the resonances i could take over i feel like the high s is a bit irritating so i can even consider i could take over boy let me control I could take over. Yeah, this is good. Like without. I could take over. Do you hear that irritating noise? I could take over. I could take over. Now we are containing it. I also just realized we jumped over the noise gate or the trim. Noise gate means that in the parts that you don't have anything. Here, for example, you can close down the volume and you don't hear anything. I prefer trimming. Trimming means like delete the parts you don't want. Like here, right? I can do something like proper fades in. The thing with the gates, they sometimes clash with the attack, even though you use look ahead. So hence, I will do something like this. Good. Now we have a restored vocals. So the next in the flow chart is pitch correction. If you are not working with top star vocal performer, you will need auto-tune one way or another. First, before you even start, identify the key. In this case, we are in B flat minor. You have to know how much pitch error presents in the vocal take. The way you correct the pitch will be different depending on how much you have to correct. And if there's nothing, you can just jump over this one. But let's listen to our vocal first. I could take over, boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intention. I know I can be heartless. Definitely veering a bit flat over here. We may need to make manual adjustments. Start with first picking your key. We are in minor and we are gonna go for B flat. In autotune pro, it will come up like this. This is the auto autotune. You can try this before you go to manuals. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. To be honest, I'm fine with this. But just to show you, I'm gonna do the manual version as well. Go to F, and then just play the audio. I know I can be heartless. Now, auto tune will track the notes, and these will be the each individual pitch movement. I know I can be heartless. Let's say here, I want a bit more movement. And this button over here, like C, we are going this like above here. I know I can be heartless. Or you can make it like more contained. I know I can be heartless. And this will lead to more auto tune sound. I know I can be heartless. More natural sound, right? And so on and so forth. You can also draw yourself. Let's say I want a super flat like this. I wanna give you all my attention. <laughs> so you can do whatever you want in the draw mode. But for me, yet again, so I want I give you all my I'm fine with this. If you are enjoying the video up to now, please consider like and subscribe so that I can make more videos like this in the future. Once you have done with the auto tune, it is time to make the corrective EQ, fix the existing resonances before going forward with dynamic control. Remove unwanted resonances. Not all the resonances are bad, some really makes the character of the vocals. Just remove the resonances from the room modes if they are really hurting you. Let's listen. I could take over. Boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deep. I feel like this is like it's sounding a bit boxy here, right? I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. When I do this type of room corrections, I like to do them a bit broader. Without? I could take over. Boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intention. I'm thinking also adding a bit air here. I could take over. I could take over. Right, we don't have that box kind of sound. Do you hear that boxy sound? Rebalance if it is needed. In this case, we had this more roomy vocal and we have a bit less air on the end. I already did actually hear this part. We don't want to go super, super aggressive here if we don't need to. In this case, we don't. Dynamic control. And this is the part Elo producers fail because they watch some YouTubers, find this magical compressor, and they believe that when they get that compressor, everything will be solved. I saw problems. There's never really one compressor that solves a problem. It always depends on the vocal itself. Before you slap anything, you should take a look at how the consistency of the volumes overall. Let's do that in our vocals. We have some very loud parts. The first thing that you should do 
is write the vocals. There are some plugins, but I'm gonna show you the old school way. Here, this one probably could use 2 dB, and here, bring down 2 dB. You shouldn't go too aggressive with the writing. Look what I'm doing. If you zoom out, you clearly see. Bringing down the super highs, bringing up the lows. This is called vocal writing because we are really literally writing the volume. So let me freeze and flatten this. Look how beautiful the vocal looks. My compressor or whatever I'm using will be able to fix the rest of the issues compared to this one where everything is all over the place. And once you have done this, compression. What I like to do is get a smooth compression first, and then depending on how I feel, I may even get a maximizer afterwards. Maximizer is kind of like a limiters with a color. So in this case, soft compression, a lot of people will use this one. I could take over. Boy, let me control ya. Boy, Goes let me well with the vocals. I wanna know your deepest intention. Now we have some peaks. Hence, maximizers are very handy. Over. I like to use this Boy, classic maximizer. Ya. It has a bit more crispier somehow. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you. If you take a look at our Yulin, look Boy, how overall sound ya. looks like. I wanna know your deepest intention. Keep in mind, this is a style often used in dance music because you want your vocals a bit strong. You will hear this one all my tracks as well. Before? Do you see how vocal comes in and out, disappears because volumes are changing? Is now gone. Magic. But we are just halfway there, so we still have a lot to do. The next one is coloring, where the fun begins. Now you have a two options. Do you have a reference? To be honest, I almost always just work with that reference here. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the reference case. I have this dry vocal. You never wanna talk about it. Ooh. It is close enough timberly. The method that I'm going to use is called four band method. I use the same method on my drums as well. I'm gonna put the video over here. The way it works, you pick something that has four band and saturation. Idea is bring something like very lows and then low mids. This can be slightly different depending on the vocal that you are using. Then we will have something like super mid highs and then we have really highs, the sizzles. ID is super simple. Compare to the reference track, match the loudness and also match the saturation levels. Take this, put it into the reference, activate both. I think ours is a bit louder. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Very similar. And then go here. Ours is a bit too loud. I'm gonna bring down like 3 dB. Very similar. I may want to slightly saturate. Warm tape is kind of fine. You can try warm tape as well. Very similar. And then go to mid highs. Okay, we are definitely quiet there. Let's go a bit like more tape. We need to distort a bit more. And then finally, she has more air vocals. Now I may go for gentle saturation. The reference is slightly sharper, a bit more irritating to my ears. I don't want to exaggerate that much. Boy, let me control ya. Let's do A B test. It's really perfect. All right, next. Now we have to make the ambient effects. The main idea is make our vocal sit inside the room. It's a short plate room reverb. Just give it a slightly ambience with very low wetness. You can try, of course, different ones. Let's try the Arturia one. This tends to sound good on vocals. I wanna give you all my attention, yeah. I could take over. The idea is making this really subtle. And then I actually prefer using returns. I'm thinking first a vintage reverb. I'm gonna go vocal returns here and then you send it there. Boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. The problem over here is though, like, especially if I you send more. Over. Boy, let me control ya. I wanna know ya. When the vocal comes in, I want to duck the reverb a little bit so that we don't wash out our vocal. Idea is simple. Side chain from our vocal. I want to release slowly. It's not coming super fast. Increase the release. 
can do a look ahead so that it starts stacking before the vocal comes in together. I can take over, boy, let me control ya. And then take an EQ, play together with the track. I can take over, boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. Now there is one thing that I will enjoy with the vocals, a little bit of shimmer on top. Shimmer reverb is just taking a sound, putting it one octave up, and then adding a reverb, focusing on the high end of the reverb. Open up the highs a bit, maybe increase the diffusion a bit, and then we're gonna send there. We need to use that compressor here as well. And I will probably cut this lows a little bit. Genre specific thing, but I like it. I could take over, boy let me control ya. If you want to get a bit more aggressiveness from your vocal, you can actually use overdrive on the reverbs as well. So I'm gonna go a bit gentle. It makes this. So bright sound reverb and mix also a bit more in your face. I may even go back and add slight distortion on our vocals as well. I could take over. This is a very genre specific thing. Boy, let me control ya. You don't need to, I like it. I could take over. I think this is for now good because I also want to give a space to my delays. I like to use the delays in parallel because I will probably use like a slap delay, which means that very fast slaps the vocal. I and I'm gonna over. adjust the time. Let me control ya. I wanna know you deep be heartless, but I can still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. We so hear this slap reverb just slaps right after the vocal comes in. If you know me, I respect my vocals, so I'm gonna again put the compressor after the verse with Dark Man the vocal place. I can take over, boy, let me control ya. Then I like to also do a longer reverb just to give more like a reflections from the room to me. I'm using simple echo because it's easier to translate over different dolls again. And I'm gonna do like probably cut something like this. My deepest intentions. I can take over. Less feedback. Tensions. I also feel like we need a bit of reverb. Either you can put a reverb before, or in this case we have reverb Tensions. inside. I know I can be heartless. Again, listen together. I know I can be heartless, but I still promise I wanna give you all my attention. Yeah. I think this is good enough. Now, the one thing we can always come back and adjust a little bit effects because it also depends on our backing vocals and how much they take this space. So, time to do the backing vocals. Do you remember I mentioned that I'm gonna use AI for this one? The very common thing that happens using samples that you will not have any harmonies or any back vocals. I'm gonna take off the reverb and turn off effects and I'm gonna export this. Go to our AI. I feel like Josephine sounds quite similar, so let's use her. We can use more than mom, especially if you want to go for like deeper sounds. You can take a male vocal and put under the female vocal. Take our vocals, convert it. I take over. Boy, let me control ya. Ah, it's so magic. So we have this one. It's a perfect B take, right? Now I want to do the same vocals with another lady. Three, six, nine girls wanna drink wine. Tell them I know. No Baking sounds cool. Let's do the baking. Again, you can do this as many as possible. I could take over. Boy, let me control ya. How slightly different. This is really good for backing vocals. So we take Vicky and Josephine. We put it down here. Because we used only like compressed and processed vocal or AI takes, they're very ready to go. So we were here. We create two back vocals with AI. And I like to pan like right and left. Almost 100%. Create this really big ambience. 50 right, 50 left. Now. I could take over. Vicky. Boy, let me control ya. I wanna know your deepest intentions. That was really good. Together. I could take over boy let me control ya i wanna know your deepest intentions so good one of the really good examples of using ai now i'm gonna group them together i'm gonna group them also together i just want to cut a bit lows I can take over, boy, i'm gonna warm this up Together. When you're adding those backing vocals, mix with the lead vocal and EQ. Anything that you add has to really complement the main vocal. I know I can be heartless, but I can still promise I want to give you all my attention. Yeah. Okay, let's change the dot. I can take over. 
Boy, let me control ya. And the final is making harmonies. It really depends on the vocal. I can take over. Very rich vocals, right? If you add more layers now, it will be cluttered and so on and so forth. Depending on track, you decide more or less. All together now. That's it. If you want to learn more about mixing and go every single details, including vocal mixing, check out my master classes. There are tons of hours of lessons and many different flow charts and helping material. But if you want to stay here, I have more videos over here. Take a look.